EK real spicy with more clips. Don't forget to subscribe and bang on that like button. Now let's get into it. Hey, but this better be good, god damn it. On things like OF girls are but like I'm a virgin. I know. Like, Don't you, do you collab with guys though? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> God. Wait, so then how are you virgin? Because it's, it's for work. I'm filming. It's like, it's kind of like a tax write-off. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Like, I've lost track of that. <laughs> Damn. Good luck with that. So, y'all, I was thinking the other day, and why don't the girls have an outlet like men? And what I mean by this is we know that men have the game, okay? Men get on the game. They forget the world. They talk shit. They just have community. Like, we have to watch our men really enjoy themselves and forget about us and just vibe out. But what do the girls have? You can't be serious. Y'all got soap operas, reality TV shows romance novels and let's not forget just sitting on the phone and gossiping in general and let's be honest this ain't got nothing to do with y'all not having nothing to vibe out to because y'all got plenty of things that i listed this is really about y'all just hating to see your man enjoy himself that and the fact that you can't imagine a world where you're not the center of attention yeah and it's called find you something <laughs> you know find you something to do I suggest women like this find a passion, find something you can enjoy on your own as well, right? That's why I always love women who are creative or love their own time. That alone time can be crucial, you know what I mean? Especially when it comes to keeping things fresh, it could definitely help. And those are the type of women that tend to have a better understanding. See this, this right here, my life this is the reason why you don't ask your walking red flag of an older brother and your oh so innocent best friend to to help you move in to your new place blown out the thing the thing is that's blow that's i don't understand is i told them to just wait in the empty living room in dining room i have to go take a shit I'll be back. I swear I wasn't even in the bathroom for like five minutes. Was was this plan? I brought an air mattress in here yesterday to wait for my stuff to get delivered today. Oh, that's that, that air mattress. This mother be popped by the time I get out of here. <laughs> Ooh wee. Back blown the smith of rings. You feel me? Getting it in. Some tells me that this is not the first time Big Bro done pulled this on her. But for the sake of her and the air mattress, I'm hoping he at least took the keys out of his pocket. When you say this. someone who's submissive and you're the leader, then you'd be the person under would be what? If I'm the leader, then anyone under me is following my lead. If they're following me, I am their leader. So you're looking for this equalness. It's a very feminist mindset. I'm saying that a man has roles and a woman has roles. Some roles can overlap sometimes because with inflation, both parties are working. But there's no overlapping if someone breaks into the house. Who's getting the door? The man is going to get the door. There's no overlapping if someone walks up to you and slaps your butt he's handling that you're not handling that and if he doesn't handle that you're breaking up with him you will lose attraction for him and grow resentment for that man because he's not holding up his end of his duties same thing with a woman if she's not being feminine fit fun and submissive to the men well it's like we both working but come home with the smile still so Greet me I'm... with a warm hug. Cook some food. I'm out there mowing the lawn. Bring me some lemonade. God dang, you see me mowing the lawn. So <laughs> what I'm saying is there's roles to things. Sometimes it may overlap, but the man is still the leader. The man is the main decision maker. And the reason why is because he's just built that way. He's bigger, taller, stronger, faster. But not only that, he's less neurotic than a woman is. That means that he's not letting the stress and the adversities of the world overwhelm him. I hear but what you you're do. Saying. Yeah. You could just see, man. What he said went right through her ears and over her head. Even as he hammers his logic, she just wants so bad to prove her point and be right. That's the main thing she's trying to get out of this. 
and really the problem I gather from most of these types of conversations with women many women believe that being feminine or being submissive to their man is less than or weak overall and it purely clashes with their ego the modern woman wants to be the quote unquote equal but like many things it clearly loses its context in these conversations talking to this guy the other day right he walks up to me and he's telling me about how he moved from london to atlanta so he's like oh you know i just moved and i'm trying to get into dating but it seems like all the women in atlanta only want you for your money or they're a gold digger or they just want something from you like oh it just sucks because i really want to get to know somebody and start dating again but woman out here is superficial and then he goes but oh you look like you're different you look like you might actually be a girl i could actually get into you look like you don't use men for their money maybe we can get to talking because you look like you can change my mind on how atlanta women are and i'm just sitting here like <laughs> yeah but in my mind <laughs> i'm like i don't even know who you just ran into <laughs> You don't even know who you just ran into. You don't even know who you just met. I'm the final boss of using these for their money. I am so sorry. I know you're trying to find the one, but it's not me. I am no better than these. I'm no better. Welcome to Atlanta. Yeah, my guy tried to pull the reverse Uno. You know what I mean? Reverse psychology on her, man. And if he felt the need to bring that up through the course of the conversation about his past experiences and how women have played him for his money, you might as well just tell her what you're about as a man and let it be known what you'll go for, what you won't go for. Straight no chaser. No need to sugarcoat it or hope she's different. Find out what she own and respect it either way. Move accordingly, right? Like if she's on what type of time you on, then that's when you know you can proceed. If not, keep it moving. And this is where many men get conflicted, bruh. Like, because you get a little cutie, get a little baddie, and want to try and change her. Right? Want to, all of a sudden, you try to save her. You want to pump some wisdom in her. And believe your influence can get her to mature into the girl you want. But if her disposition and how she treats the men in her life and what she thinks about men, her approach to relationships overall is most likely going to supersede all of that. And most likely she won't feel an ounce of guilt because she showed you who she was. I'm gonna need working class men to stop being so insecure. Just because you can't afford a Ferrari doesn't mean you're broke. When we talk about broke men, nobody's talking about you guys. Let me help you understand what a broke man is. If you are sleeping on your mother's couch and you're not working to be anything, you are a broke man. If you let a woman take care of everything and you provide absolutely nothing, you are a broke man. If you wake up in the morning, have no plans on how to get you some money, but you make plans for a smoke session with your friends, you are a broke man. You know, I'm gonna say I agree with her overall, like, I see what she's talking about but i will say most guys aren't really insecure about this it's just more annoyance than anything like when you hear many women talk about broke men it's usually because they make under six figures or guys who don't travel spend a ton of money on material things it might be the type of car they drive but of course a grown adult right you got to get up you got to get out Get it how you know how. Nobody really want to be around a liability. No matter what type of team. Group, gathering, friends, lovers. Nobody want to be around dead weight. Like, like you can't be on the team. Training, practicing, doing all that was needed to be done. Getting your shot in order. You know what I'm saying? Keeping your passes crispy. Running up and down the floor. Got your conditioning right. And then when you in a position to make the shot or throw the assist, your teammates not ready. Your teammates not hustling. Your teammates not playing defense or otherwise playing their part. Right? Can't even guard their man. Not paying attention. Oh yeah, you want them off the team. ASAP. Off the court. So yeah, that apply to everything. I think for a lot of men, you would tell your daughters to be with a guy who's worth something, who's worth a damn, who gives a good amount of effort, 
But like I said, I think with a lot of men, when they complain about women talking about broke this and broke that, usually those are women that are broke themselves. That's really what it comes down to. But yes, sir, yes, sir. It's about that time. Y'all know what to do. Let me know what y'all think. Hit me in them comments. I appreciate you guys for watching and listening. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Definitely will really help us out. This is EK, Real Spicy, signing out. And I'm going to check y'all in the next video. And like that, be easy. Gone.